Education, Legal Department staff. Uh, also, we have uh, Councilman uh, from the 15th District, <coughs> Phil Claiborne here. Uh, appreciate you being here, Councilman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me have your attention. Uh, if you're not satisfied with the decisions made by Traffic and Parking Commission, you may appeal the decision by filing a writ of successorary with the Davidson County Chantry or Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of the entry of the Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a timely manner and that all procedural requirements have have been met. Uh, commissioners, we have approval of the agenda today. I so move. Have a first, second. I'd like to uh, submit a request to change the agenda real quick. Revise the agenda to remove the appeal item on the very on the second page. Um, we've had a request to pull that item, and with your permission, we'd like to revise the agenda to remove that from our conference today. Okay. I so move that we advise the agenda to remove item four. Second. Have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Approved. Uh, approval of the minutes from the meeting of October the 14th, 2013. Do I have a motion? Okay. Have a first? Second. Second. All in favor? Say aye. Aye. Councilman Claiborne is here. Uh, would you like to speak on an item that we have on the consent agenda, Councilman? I would. Uh, I'm Phil Claiborne. I live at 2911 Western Hills Drive, and I represent uh, District 15 in the council. And uh, before I make my remarks, I want to uh, thank each one of you for uh, the service that you provide uh, on this uh, commission, uh, having served on the uh, uh, the Planning Commission for a couple of years, uh, I know that uh, this is a, um, a big slice of your time and the preparation that you put in, so uh, uh, for the pay that you get, uh, uh, we appreciate your service, and th so thank you very much. Um, I wanted to come and just uh, address uh, my thanks to you on uh, an item, uh, one of the consent items under uh, 1113, which is the uh, all-way stop at Spring Valley Drive and Overhill Drive. Uh, Spring Valley Drive runs, uh, it is a connector street that runs from the front of uh, the Bluefields neighborhood all the way to the very back. This is a historic neighborhood. Um, a lot of um, younger families are moving in that area, uh, and with the younger families come a lot of younger children. Uh, Spring Valley Drive uh, is a, a long street, and the intersection of Overhill uh, is a T intersection, and it comes at a rise in Spring Valley. So that when you're either direction that you're coming from, there's not full visibility to see all the way over the rise. And so back uh, a couple of months ago, there was an unfortunate incident. Uh, one nice uh, uh, afternoon, uh, there were uh, a number of people that were standing out in one of the yards uh, just close to this intersection. And uh, a, uh, a truck came from Lebanon Road going toward the back of the intersection. Uh, I don't know if it was speeding or not, but uh, nevertheless, uh, as he approached the intersection, there was uh, one of the residents, uh, a German Shepherd dog, uh, went across the street. And the driver of the truck couldn't see the dog in time to stop, and unfortunately the dog was killed. Well, the residents that were there that afternoon began to immediately think of the children who live immediately in this uh, general vicinity of this intersection. One child who is particularly, uh, is autistic child, and so they came to me and asked uh, if we could go and look at uh, the possibility of getting an all-way stop at this intersection. And so I'm here today to tell you that uh, this is something that the neighborhood uh, has asked for. It's something that they're supportive of. It's something that I'm supportive of. And I just wanted to come and thank you on behalf of the neighborhood and thank you on my behalf for uh, moving to approve this all-way uh, stop and to create a much safer uh, environment for uh, this particular area and for this neighborhood. So thank you very much. Thank you, Count. <coughs> Thank you, Councilman. Does any of the commissioners have anything to say or ask 
Chip. I, I have another request of you guys. Um, consent item under the resolution 1113 modify speed limit on Coley Davis Road. I'd like to pull that off consent and defer for one month. So therefore it's not a consent item any longer. I'll make a motion to Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 I make a motion to defer, actually. Let me change my motion. Uh, to defer. Need both oh, you need both motions. I got you. Legal always keeping us together. Uh, I also will make a motion to defer uh, this agenda item to December's meeting. Is it, Chip? That'll be fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, we have a motion to defer for one meeting. Do I have a second? Second. second. Oh, yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Chip, is there anything else? For now, that should be it. Okay. Does uh, any of the commissioners <clears throat> wish to have anything discussed or pulled off of the consent agenda? Looks like everything's okay on it. All right, on the consent agenda, items on the consent agenda <clears throat> will be voted on at a single time. No individual public hearing will be held, nor will the commission debate these items unless a member of the audience or the commission requests that the items be removed from the consent agenda. Uh, proposal number 2013-M, 015AB001, a request to abandon a portion of alley, <coughs> excuse me, 384, an easement and utilities to be re retained from its intersection with alley 387 eastward to the northwest corner of map, uh, tax map partial number 0921600767. And all of Alley 387 easement and utilities to be remain to be retained between Terrace Place and Division Street, requested by Vanderbilt University. Do we need a hand vote on this one, Chip, or going through them all? Yes, sir. I'm not sure where it came from, but hand votes on mandatory referrals such as this and proposals. Okay. We'll have to do a hand vote on this one. All in, do I have a motion? I so move. Have a first and a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Unanimous, thank you. Uh, resolution 1113, implement, <clears throat> implement truck restriction on old Murfreesboro Pike from Smith Springs uh, to Murfreesboro Pike. Authorized stop on Rainwood Drive at uh, Chesa <clears throat> Chesapeake Drive. Authorized stop on uh, Brickmont Drive at Chesapeake Drive. Uh, authorized all stop on Utah Avenue at 47th Avenue. Install a two hour parking on the north side of South Street from Music Square East to Villa Place. Authorize valet stand at 210, um, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> Almond Street from, uh, for the farmhouse. Now the farmhouse, isn't that a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. All right, authorized traffic signal on Highway 70 at Brook, Brookmont Terrace. Uh, do I have a motion? Uh, oh, excuse me. I thought we had, okay. Councilman, I'm sorry. Authorize all way stop on Spring Valley Drive and Overhill Drive. That was the main one, wasn't it, Councilman? All right. I had it underlined because I thought we'd already voted on it. All right. Do I have a motion? I make a motion. Second. Have a first, a second. All in favor say aye. aye. Thank you. All right. Uh, Chip, uh, parking, reports, and engineering, you have anything? Diane? Nothing unusual. The data is included in your packet. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. 
Commissioners, have any questions? <clears throat> All right, we'll move on to other business. Elections. That's that time of year. Every year in November, we elect chair and co-chair. I believe a few months ago, you were appointed, if you want to label it, an interim chair. So at this time, we need nominations and elections for chair and co-chair. All right. Mr. Chairman, do we have any uh, nominations? I'd like to be recognized. Uh, uh, can I make an uh, uh, appointment? Well, excuse me, let's put it this way. Could I uh, make a nomination for the chair and the vice chair at the same time? Is that appropriate? Okay, yes. Yes? Okay, good. Well, if that's the case, I would like to uh, uh, nominate uh, Mr. Filler Brown as the chairman uh, for a full term, and I'd like to uh, nominate Mr. Richard Moran for vice chair again for a full term. Thank you. Do we have any other nominations? Doesn't look like anybody wants this job, do you? <laughs> Wait a second. All right. I, I will second the nomination. I have a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Chip, I believe that's it for today. Yeah, sorry for the short agenda and calling you all down here, but sometimes we get these. If I could just here. make one comment um, before we adjourn, I just wanted to uh, give a special thanks to Ms. Marshall and uh, the staff for your work that you guys have done over in the Germantown area, particularly on Hume Street and Roselle Parks. Things are working wonderful down there now that we put those uh, parking, or move those parking, uh, no parking signs. And I, I'm going to give you credit for something I think was <laughs> you guys, but I'm not 100% sure. But there's like a little turning lane now right off of Rosa L. Parks uh, now that this development has gone in on Hume. And that just makes a world of difference in traffic flow from people coming down Roselle Park trying to turn left onto Hume Street. It, it just made a world of difference. So um, thank you all for your for your work over there in that area and continue to keep an eye out. And I will as well to keep an eye out on that area because of all the development. But thanks a lot. Well, we'll, we'll take a little bit of the credit. We reviewed the plans for that development. You know, and that was a condition of theirs to remove the park. Rightfully so then. Yeah. <laughs> Commissioners, I appreciate you appointing me, and I think I can speak for Dick also. Uh, I really enjoy serving on this board. This is a, a good board. I enjoy it, and I appreciate the opportunity of doing this. And Councilman Claiborne, I'm sorry I overlooked your deal. I had it marked on there. But uh, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so it's coming up soon. So, uh, motion to we have a motion to dismiss. All in favor, say aye. 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 So what is it?